Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. You know, it's raining outside right now. It's it's wet and damp and all those things. And yet, you know what? Uh, it's all part of this great big world we live in. It's all part of the beauty uh, that surpasses our understanding that God brings to us here in the Pacific Northwest and, and really throughout the world. We see God's hand of work uh, and of mercy in, in our planet and, and all the beautiful things that we have. And so for all these things, we give God the praise. Our word of encouragement today comes, first, comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, beginning at verse 9. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that, whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. As I think about these words of scripture, I think about the fact that we are called to, to build each other up, to encourage one another. We live in a world today that wants to uh, compare ourselves to one another. We, we look for the headlines that will grab our attention. There's uh, media reports that we, the truth is we don't even know anymore if it's true news or if it's just someone's take on things. It's not like it used to be. Um, and, and so there's all this stuff out there that wants to tear people down and other, that others can be lifted up. But even in our everyday lives, it may be coworkers, it may be friends, it may be family where uh, people want to lift themselves up uh, over, over others. And yet that's not the world that God has called us to. Uh, the kingdom of God is about encouraging one another. It's about lifting each other up. And it's based on the fact that my race is not against you. This is not a competition to see how good I am in comparison to you. Um, my race, my life is about how do I measure up to Christ? How do I measure up to God? Am I, am I doing my part? And, and not in a way that says it's all about works and what I do, but in a way that says because God loved me, because what God's done for me, I want to love him and I want to, to be like him and I want to, to, be, to do my part. And therefore, I want to honor him with my life. Um, and in doing so, I want to encourage one another. Uh, it shouldn't matter to me if someone has more or less than me. It shouldn't matter to me if someone is better skilled at certain things than me. What should matter is what am I doing with what I have? Am I doing the best that I can? Um, and so, you know, as Christians, I just want to encourage us today to get away from the things of this world, to get away from the ideals of this world that, 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 that call us to look at ourselves as somehow better than someone else or compare ourselves to someone else. And let's simply compare ourselves to ourselves. Uh, to where we were at this time last week or where we were at this time last year or two years ago. Um, are we doing better? Are we moving forward in our walk with Christ? Are we uh, being the other half of this relationship that, that, that we want to be? Uh, certainly in my marriage and other relationships, I, I want to be a good husband. I, I want to be a good friend. I, I, I want to do my part to lift the others up, other people up. And in doing so, I don't want to tear them down. I don't want to highlight their... Uh, maybe where they're not as good as me or, or where they struggle. What I want to do is to encourage them and, and help them strengthen those things that they're gifted in. In the same way, that's what I want for people for me. And that's what we're called to do as Christians. So again, let's spend the days lifting each other up. Uh, there's enough people trying to knock people down. There's enough people trying to tear us apart. Let's be those that build each other up. Let's encourage one another, trusting that God will use that to build his kingdom. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder from Scripture that we're called to encourage one another, to lift each other up, to carry each other's burdens when necessary. Uh, Father, help us not to compare ourselves to one another. Help us only to compare ourselves to the love of Christ. And, and, and even though we will, we, we will never measure up to that, Lord, may we always strive to be better in our walk with you, to, be, to do our part, to represent you to the world around us, that you have loved us so much. Because, Father, we love you. And we thank you. And we're so grateful that in the midst of our darkest sin, you still loved us. You never gave up on us. Uh, you never were without hope. And that you have a plan for our salvation. So Lord, thank you for that. Thank you for the love. And thank you for surrounding us with people of like mind who know you and love you. Father, we just pray today that you would bless each and every one. Help them, Lord, uh, as they go through their day. And Father, may you receive all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. Have a wonderful day in the Lord, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.